You know, with music and dancing like that, I don't think we need any speeches. I'm done. <laughs> Welcome to all from far and wide on behalf. On behalf of the Artsy and Shandling families. What a great simcha. Years or at least months in the making. <laughs> the tale of young love for this middle-aged couple. Oh, sorry, that's from my speech. Sorry. But let's face it, Talia and Olon are millennials and not Gen Xers. People who know what they want and have chosen each other. A match made in heaven. Talia was infatuated with Elon from the start. Remember, this is someone who would disqualify a suitor for the least provocation. <laughs> for example, she went out with a lawyer's son of one of my colleagues. At their date, he ordered a pink drink. Yes. Done. <laughs> Game <laughs> over. Then, I set her up with a cardiology trainee from our program. He made her walk 150 yards in the sun for, for a dim sum lunch. Bye. <laughs> you lose. And then there was the date that asked her for the $10 parking garage fee. S Sayonara, punk. <laughs> but... Elon was different. He won over her emotions and her heart. She listened to him and didn't organize him too much. <laughs> there was mutual respect. Remember, again, Talia is someone who told her first grade teacher what the lesson was for the day. <laughs> and the teacher complied. <laughs> this is someone who was green from car sickness at age six was offered help from her cardiologist dad. She glared at me balefully and snapped, I want a real doctor, not you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I, I think I, I had my phone vibrate there. Uh, Hi, Dad. <laughs> you got drunk dialed at midnight. Um... <laughs> That is funny. Um, anyway, coming back, I want to see how David's saying. Thanks. Bye. And this message to reply to it, press A to delete this message. I'd like to. I'd like to thank Adam for actually managing to get that to work, and Tari and Natalia for not being too embarrassed. As you can see. This was someone who drunk dialed me after midnight and was still in control. <laughs> How many of you have been uh, drunk dialed by any of your kids recently? <laughs> Talia and Alon are both hard-working professionals who will be successful. <laughs> they both have good jobs and great job satisfaction. I can say that for the Shandlings, job satisfaction is a rarity. In fact, there's a website that you can go on to see if your ancestors had job satisfaction. <laughs> Jobsatisfactionancestor.com. So I googled Chandling. No job satisfaction for over five millennia. <laughs> Actually, none since Moses. And he was pretty irritable, what with throwing rocks and all. But not Talia, who likes telling the judges and especially opposing counsel what to do <laughs> with themselves. <laughs> but enough smack about Talia. Actually, she's remarkably self-sufficient. The day she moved into residence as a freshman at UCLA, we had a farewell snack at the Falafel King in Westwood, where she was sobbing that she had to move so far home to go to college. <laughs> As a sophomore at UCLA, she had me drive the 50 miles to unblock her toilet. <laughs> her cooking skills are legendary. She can prepare a meal in a mere 20 minutes 
including 15 minutes to open the can of tuna. <laughs> she is, however, super competent at everything she does, always willing to help, opine, and organize. And she was so helpful and supportive after my wife, Jillian, died and helped Adam a lot. It's uh, been an amazing experience for me, trying to be her father. <laughs> the tiny blinking eyes of a two and a half pounder in the incubator at birth next to David. The look of indignation and betrayal at the age of five, when after being told by a nurse that the shot to her tuchus wouldn't hurt, <laughs> hurt. The look of indignation on my face at age 45, after my house was comprehensively TP'd by her friends. <laughs> Out. Her first and last ballet performances, which were the same. And her first but not last MUN award. Elon is liked and loved by all my friends and family, bar none, and he was an instant hit with Talia's brother, David, who also inherited Talia's hard-to-please gene. <laughs> they are both Big Kings fans. Also, Elon is a huge Raiders fan. Elon, they, they're the guys who are trying to play football? Is, is, is that <laughs> Football, right? Yeah. Elon is tireless, w waking up at the crack of dawn to sleuth out those worthy of a loan. A great addition to our family. <laughs> Why did I say something? A little anecdote. Debbie and I went up to a Shabbat dinner at the Artsies. It was the first time that we'd met them. After dinner, Sharon served a piquant amarula liqueur in antique crystal glasses from circa 1795, <laughs> used by the Tsar of Russia's great aunt. <laughs> I finished the drink, and with a flourish, I exhaled loudly, ah, and banged the glass down on the table. The stem snapped. <laughs> Sharon was very gracious. She said, ah, no problem, easily replaced. And that she had another one in the safe deposit box. <laughs> I was mortified, so on the way out, I quipped, I hope that this is not the only glass to be broken in the near future. Turns out, I was right. I'm pleased and honored to have Sharon and Ami as machatonim. To all, a heartiest mazel tov, raise your glasses, to the bride and groom of the year, Talia and Elon. We're ready to rumble. <laughs>